Hi, I'm Allison Pilling and I am the host of Death Cafe Quinty. And in this video, I am just going to talk about um, my reflections, kind of what stuck with me from the June 2022 event. I was about to say 2015, but it was actually June 15th, <laughs> 2022. Um, anyways, uh, I share these broad topics um, just to give you a, a sort of a, a sneak peek, a, an idea as to what topics are discussed in case you're considering joining us for our next event, uh, which is actually going to be July 20th. That's a Wednesday from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so in June, the main, I guess, topics, highlights that, that stuck with me was we had this conversation around hearing your own heartbeat and what that does, um, even in your mind, right? So I think about when I was pregnant and I heard the heartbeat of my babies for the first time and that stirred excitement, right? Um, it made you feel that they were healthy and alive and, and you hear this heartbeat. So there's just this curiosity as to when you hear your heartbeat as you get older, right? And actually having the thoughts of, wow, like one day this, this heart will stop. It will stop beating. And, you know, just thinking about the potential of when, when could that be? Will I be aware of that? And then acknowledging the feelings you might have around that. So it could be um, sadness, right? Um, it could be feeling scared that that may happen. Um, so that was one of the, the topics we discussed. Another one was learning and acknowledging what you need to feel loved. And just sometimes in grief, we recognize what it is we need to feel loved from someone. So some people, it's physical touch. Some people, it's words of affirmation or acts of service, right? Quality time together, gifts, all these things. Um, it's like, what, what makes you feel loved from your loved ones? And sometimes we don't know until that is gone. And then we long for that again in the same way that a certain individual may have provided it for us. So that was a really um, interesting conversation. And we even talked about what is that importance of committing to yourself, doing those things that make you feel love, so committing to self-love, and then also the value in teaching others how to love you, right? So if someone um, really feels love from words of affirmation and they're not receiving that, um, you know, maybe just having a conversation about that, right? Or if you really value um, quality time together, you know, making some time to have that happen. So, okay. And then the third topic that really stuck with me was the whole idea around milestones and anniversaries. And just the fact that as adults, it's almost like we schedule in our grief and our celebrations around a date on a calendar. And we acknowledge these events um, and memories and, and that type of thing based on, again, a date on a calendar. Whereas when I look at children and, and even my children throughout um, their grief journey, um, it doesn't have to do with the date on the calendar, right? They were five and six when their dad died. Um, if they have memories or reflections or want to celebrate him, um, it happens spontaneously. They don't necessarily remember the exact date that their dad died unless I, t I tell them, unless I remind them. Um, so I find that really interesting because even for myself around those milestones or anniversaries, those dates, I allow myself some space because um, I don't know how, I f how I'll feel. But yeah, so that was really interesting too, just how like adults almost like schedule in our grief, whereas children tend to do what they need to do in the moment. So it's not 
it's not um, in relation to a date on a calendar. So anyways, I hope that's helpful if you're considering attending a Death Cafe event, whether it's the Death Cafe Quinty or one in your local area. And again, my name's Alison Pilling, and yeah, I'm the host of Death Cafe Quinty. You can find us on Facebook. Okay, thanks. Have a great day.